hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting tutorial video so this week we are going to learn how to paint these beautiful cosmos flowers so let's get started with the supplies i'll be using 2 edge pencils and a kneadable eraser to just make the outline of my painting and then i'll be using these small tacklan brushes they are round and they're just kind of medium to small size you can use any brush you want um, and then along with that I'll be using white knights watercolors these are the color pigments that I'm going to be using for today's uh, tutorial along with that I'll also be using some more which are up on your screen right here to sketch out the flowers I'm simply using uh, circles and ovals for the outline so the flowers that are facing me directly are going to be uh, sketched out in the circles and the ones that are not facing me directly and are kind of upturned and in a diagonal position they are going to be uh, drawn in an elliptical oval so that they look a little upturned and they look like as if they are being viewed from the side rather than from the front as you can see by yourself that the petals that are far away from me are going to be longer while the petals that are near to my eye field are going to be shorter to give it a more natural and curvy look Meanwhile, I'm also creating some unopened birds and some random uh, leaves, which I will be covering while I'm painting. First of all, I'm lightening the sketch and then I'll be doing underpainting. So for underpainting, I'm simply adding a little bit of yellow in the background to create more of a complete and warm look for my flowers. Underpainting can actually enhance the already existing colors of your painting. So you can try it and completely ignore it altogether if you're a beginner. First of all, I'm painting the centers of the flowers by using a yellow color. You can use any yellow and after it is dried up, I am going to be adding small brown freckles onto them and then wait for them to dry again. Then I'm applying a light wash of this exact brown paint onto the top of these uh, centers to make them look more coherent. And here is a time lapse of one of the flowers just so that you can actually see how the whole process is going to come together. First of all, I'm applying my paint layer onto the alternative petals and then after it's all dried up, I'm going to use a little darker pigment and then I'm going to be applying paint onto the remaining petals. I'm doing this so that I create a more contrast so that each petal looks different and not just um, merged with each other. And now in order to blend uh, my darker paints, I'm simply adding more water onto them and after it's all dried up, I'm just adding my highest or most saturated values in the form of small streaks of paint. I'm going to make tiny streaks onto the lighter petals as well. And for this flower, I'm going to make it very light. So for that, I'm just applying a wash of really light color onto all of the petals and then wait for it to dry a little bit. Once my base layer is all dried up, I'm simply going to add my second layer of pigment which is just light streaks of paint onto the petals to make it look more feathery and once it's dried up, I'm going to add the more saturated paint to define the shapes of petals and just give it a really beautiful finished look. In order to create a white flower, we are not going to use white paint, rather we are just going to add shadows in order to create an illusion of white flower. So for the shadows, I'm using a paints gray. Along with that, I'm mixing just a little bit of ultramarine just to create some beautiful, nice shadows. And this brings us to our last flower. And I'm using the same principle again. I'm going to be painting the alternate petals so that I don't mix up all the petals and wait for them to dry. And once it's all dried up, I'm going to be using a darker paint in order to create the background petals so that it looks like as if they are in shadow and not in the complete light and just adding some streaks of paint and then blending them all together. I'm mixing yellow with green in order to create a really olive and muted green colors for the leaves and stamens and I'm just painting the main trunks of the flowers. Along with that, I'm just adding some feathery leaves for that. You really don't need to be keeping any kind of hard and fast rule of painting leaves. Just create leathery leaves and it's just pretty much it. I'm also defining the whole structure of it and that's pretty much it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you so much for watching it.